What would Two Point County do without the masses of tourists it attracts every year? Well, Premier Resort Crockle Bay would be out of business for one thing. And so would all the hospitals that specialize in exotic diseases. I guess what I'm saying is we should thank visitors for bringing their viruses in from all over the world. Chill out, everybody. We have a false alarm. It seems our mysterious foe was really a friend all along. The little guy was full of cookies from Mama Wolf. Thanks, Mom. Hopefully, today's show has been a good example of how to deal with any unidentified device, suspicious object, or interfamilial gift. Now, I'm off to get some milk.
This is Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. And once again, I, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, bid you a very cordial welcome to my humble show. For the next few hours, I shall endeavor to enlighten your gray little lives.
publications that leave negative reviews will be identified and targeted personally. People say to me, Sir Nigel, how do you find the fortitude to continue such excellent work day after day? And I reply, because I have been bestowed the gift of broadcasting by some divine force, you simple peasant. One does what one is born to do, and I was born to play the snake's tune. You may 
have heard at some point over the course of your lives that it is improper to end a sentence with a preposition. Bosh and piffle, I hear you say. Yet it is undoubtedly true. Unless you wish to sound like a barbarian, you will never again utter a phrase such as, this isn't advice I'm going to listen to. Collect, trade, and snack with Morsel Man. Awesome. Who will you find? Little Susie Salt. <laughs> Bacon Dad. Whoa the Reverend Cheddar. Can I get an amen? Amen. Morsel Man. A handful of flavor. A mouthful of fun. More Two Point. More often. This is Two Point Radio.
executive now approaching the hospital.
listening to Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Bungle Meditech has announced a major breakthrough in the cure for boldness. Do they have refused to share any details? One wonders if this has anything to do with the explosion in Blyton, which saw a forest of hair spring up overnight. In today's tech news, a two-point county hospital has developed a treatment for cubism. It's called a recovery unit and should bring relief to anyone who's feeling a bit too abstract. Thank <laughs> you. 
Register your body for compost donation today. Help the grass be greener from the other side. This week, I headed to the Pointy Mountains for my Sir Nigel Reviews segment. If you have any plans of staying at the Underlook Hotel, I must warn you, be prepared to hear typewriter noises throughout the night. As if that weren't bad enough, there's blood coming off elevators and ghosts everywhere. Hardly a restful stay, I'm sure you'll agree. Automated snack machines need restocking manually. Honestly, the state of this radio station is deplorable at times. I have half a mind to speak to the janitor about it. In fact, I should call upon Mr. Henry Jobsworth, the county's health and safety inspector, and close personal friend of mine, to make his own assessment. 
I'll let you know how I get on.
Automated snack machines need restocking manually. Inject some chance into your life with probability, the drink that rolls the dice of life. Uh. Probability? What's the worst that can happen? Oh. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio.
I have just spoken to Mr. Henry Jobsworth, the county's health and safety inspector, to report Two Point Radio's lack of hygiene. But I was told he's too busy visiting hospitals. I suggest the inspector re-examines his priorities. In the meantime, here's another dreadful tune.
information required in GP's office. Listening to Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. You're listening to Ricky Hawthorne, the only radio DJ guaranteed to bring happiness into your lives. Now, let's listen to a nice, uplifting tune. Training course completed.
hospital may well be haunted. There's a funny sort of smell in the booth this morning. Burnt toast, I'd say, from a slightly past its sell-by-date granary loaf. No, no. I tell a lie, I think it might be more of a seeded farmhouse. Now, I know what you're thinking. Sounds like something's gone wrong with old Ricky's brain, but the explanation is much simpler. That's right, the new air fresheners from our sponsors, Krusty Fragrance, have arrived. So buy Krusty Fresheners and your whole house could smell of toast. That delightful Jasmine Odyssey isn't just a pop-singing sensation. She's also quite the humanitarian. Why, only this morning, she was visiting some of our local hospitals. She insisted on singing a song or two, even when the patients begged her not to. What an angel.
Holistics Environmental Medicine and Pharmaceuticals, the company's healthcare branch, also known as Hemp, has announced its hospitals will now be completely free of palm oil. Holistics will now use orangutan oil in all its medicine instead.
maintenance announcement. Plants need water. want to experience all that the pointy mountains have to offer stay at the underlook hotel you'll never want to leave thanks you're welcome amazing underlook hotel this is two point radio
Automated snack machines need restocking manually.
This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. I've signed up for a long-distance learning class, how to build your own nuclear submarine. It's a childhood dream of mine, and I'm thrilled I'll finally make it come true after another 7,435 lessons. More great radio on the way.
In the news today, a group of backpackers have been airlifted out of Tumble Ridge after spending a week wandering the woods, then another week stranded on the edge of a cliff. It seems nobody broke anything or tried to eat anybody else. So that counts as a successful trip in my book. Two Point County's valiant health and safety watchdog, Henry Jobsworth, has been called into the new Sweaty Palms fast food restaurant, Roach Burgers, home to the crunchiest burgers in town. No word yet on why the inspector's there.
We all have our differences, don't we? Morning people, night owls, noon bandits. We come in all manner of wonderful flavors. But gubbins, gubbins come in just one. Cheesy gubbins. There are some things that we can all agree on. More Two Point, more often. This is Two Point Radio.
We're getting news of a rather sizable earthquake hitting one of our hospitals. If you're there now, try not to fall into any holes and stay away from any cracks in the walls. Oh, and have a listen to this lovely song. It'll calm you right down.
Augusta Follicle has called in with her nice words of the day, which are sprinkle a little magic on your breakfast and give flight to your soul all day. A nice sentiment, Augusta, but we don't condone the taking of illegal substances on Two Point Radio.
That time of day again. That's right, folks. Harrison Wolf is back on the airwave. Stay tuned for my unique brand of enthusiastic banter.
task completed. This stuff blows my mind. Bungle have released a new vitamin tablet that incorporates nanotechnology. You heard me. The tablet scans your body for the vitamins it needs and then synthesizes them. Either that or explodes inside you and kills you.
head office. If you've been trying to get through to the station today, you should know we're experiencing some technical difficulties. Well, if, if you want to know the truth, I unplugged the phone. Let's just imagine you requested this upcoming song.
Author and ambassador for the Bigfoot Foundation, Bartholomew F. Yeti is coming to talk at an artsy location near you for the 20th anniversary tour of his seminal work, Big Feet, Big Shoes. Critics call it urgent, confusing, and a nice color. Blink and you'll miss him. Buy your tickets now. This is Two Point Radio.
Never hurts to have a fallback career. I tried out as a paparazzo by hanging out at the Paradise Lust Hotel, where all the celebs stay. Managed to take a bunch of pictures of the doorman, but having a hard time selling them. I guess I'll stick to playing records. Like this one. think I'd be a loyal customer of Holistics. Let me tell you, 
The only environment those people care about is the air-conditioned bank vault where they keep all their money. Remember that next time you bathe in your jasmine-scented mud bath. Why is discretion the only one that gets a soul? How about the soul of confidence or apathy? Chew on that while you listen to this next song. Don't put your health in the hands of a quack. Come to Bungle Meditech, where advanced techniques and experimental treatments could make you live forever. Bungle Meditech. Other hospitals offer leeches. Ours will leave you speechless. 24 hours a day. 
This is Two, two, two Point Radio. Either you're one of those people who tries to stuff as many marshmallows into their mouth as they can, or you're not. The important thing is to keep a sense of perspective. Now, stuff this fine song down your ears. Surgery, please. 
listening to the voice of Nigel Bickleworth, your host and cultural guide on Two Point Radio. And what a splendid show I have for you today. Don't go anywhere.
Here is a list of things I like and don't like. Things I don't like. Almost anything you could care to mention. Things I do like. Making lists of things I don't like. More gems on the way after whatever sounds emanate from your radio when I'm not talking.
For this edition of Sir Nigel Reviews, I thought I would brave the so-called wonders of the modern world and attend a three-dimensional screening at the local cinema. Why one would wish for an extra dimension to such drivel, I do not know. I spent much of the film ducking under the seat. I suggest you do the same. Feeling lightheaded? Please help. Not yourself? Please. Committing light? What? Ah! Whoa. Thanks. Get checked at your local hospital today. This is Two Point Radio.
Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. The sport of kings may be polo, but the sport of gentlemen is played at the sloop. You won't see me there, of course. Far too much rough and tumble even in the stands, but it's nice to know it's there.
One crucial thing to really understand when it comes to grammar, do not listen to those who say that language is a flexible, evolving thing. It has rules, and they must be obeyed, else we exist in linguistic chaos, and civilization will surely crumble. And yes, that split infinitive at the start was a little joke. Ha ha. A bit of a fiasco down at the Bungle Technologies lab this morning, I hear. It seems they were trying to collide two artificially created black holes, but the whole experiment went nowhere. Thank you. 